At ZS2 Technologies, we dream big. And if we can dream of a world where buildings aren't this burden and this race to the bottom from a quality and cost perspective, we can start to look at buildings in a new way, where maybe they're this entity that not only is a net benefit to the environment, but is a place that we want to live and is safe from all the external forces that it seems like the climate is putting at us. My name is Doug Brown, and I'm the Chief Technology Officer here at ZS2 Technologies. Our company focuses on taking waste products and creating cement. So we have a waste to cement technology that is gonna revolutionize the cement industry by providing a lower carbon footprint alternative to the conventional cement products we use in our environments today. Since our inception, we've always focused on more resilient materials. Our belief is that the construction industry, which is the world's largest industry, really needs to change. Other than water, the most consumed product, if you will, or material on earth is cement. But it's a tremendous contributor to greenhouse gases and CO2. I think finding a new novel cement has tremendous promise to deal with these issues. The ZS2 Technologies is using a concept derived from nature. In fact, I think most of the great breakthroughs really find their inspiration from nature. What the ocean does naturally is it absorbs CO2 over time. So the brines that we force CO2 into, that form magnesium carbonate and calcium carbonate, end up forming a slurry. We separate some of the water from this slurry and then add a few more proprietary agents and then hydraulically press these into cement precast products. These products then cure in room temperature through an exothermic reaction over the next 24 hours, and then they reach sort of market sellable strength after seven days. We produce those here at our facility right now in our pilot facility in Calgary, Alberta, and we're looking to scale up that technology by a factor of 10 over the next two to three years. We don't have to purify. We're not looking for a storage medium. We don't have to transport. The benefits of our raw materials which turn into construction materials, are we can do things on a local basis with CO2 capture, and we don't need that purification. So it brings the cost down, but it also brings the ease of adoption and setting up that facility. It's simplifying the process. It's really trying to make CO2 capture and utilization a much easier process, but then combining that with a product that I truly believe the world wants due to its fire resistance, due to its strength, due to its weight. So in 20 years from now, I hope that all of our buildings are utilizing our technologies. I hope that all of our homes are built safer, that will actually protect people. When somebody walks into our organization, they're gonna see a family of people that are like-minded, that are driven towards a common value and mission. Being a part of the XPRIZE has been an exciting competition. It's really motivated our entire team to continue to provide a solution and look at it from a non-biased standpoint. Knowing the extremes of climate change and what it's bringing on a annual or semi-annual basis and seeing all these amazing companies looking at different solutions from a wide array, you know, whether it's environmental-based or technology-based. Today, we need solutions. We need to rapidly change and this is what saving the world is looking like. To learn more about XPRIZE carbon removal, head to xprize.org slash carbon removal.